Do you think the Eagles should trade Carson Wentz before the end of the season? Sure, they should trade Carson Wentz. You know, yeah. No, I, I, I'd like to play center field. I'd like to play center field for the Yankees. It's just not in the offing, you know? <laughs> like, the bottom line is, you can't trade Carson Wentz. You won't find a single taker in the NFL because he stinks. That's why. And the reason is, you see Doug Peterson right there? To me, that looks like a head coach who's not allowed to make that decision. I don't think it's his call. I don't think he has the autonomy to do it. This is a guy who couldn't choose his own staff, right? Who even after you see every single time they put another quarterback in, the team functions better. The team functions better without Carson Wentz. This is going back to Nick Foles' Super Bowl run, then Nick Foles the next year, when they were dead in the water under 500, they functioned better without Carson Wentz. And now I don't want to hear anything about the offensive line, which is 11th in win rate in terms of pass blocking, and even better for the run. But 11th in win rate in terms of pass blocking. How many times, you know, at, oh, the, the, the offensive line's no good. It's not Wentz's fault. It's not Wentz's fault. Really? Really? So I guess if you put a second-round pick quarterback rookie making the first start of his NFL career behind that line against the NFL's best defense, he's going to get killed. How many times was he sacked? How many times was he sacked? He wasn't sacked. Why is that, I wonder? Yeah, his mobility, does that speed make, a, does that help Miles Sanders when, they, when he freezes linebackers because he keeps the ball? Oh, he might keep the ball. Sure, that helps Miles Sanders. Does it help him avoid sacks? I suppose so. Was, could Randall Cunningham move? Could he? Because he was sacked behind yeah. an Eagles offensive line one year 60 times. He was sacked another year 72 times. Don't just tell me it's because he's mobile that Hurts didn't get sacked. Why did Josh McCown achieve the same result against Seattle in the playoffs last year that Wentz did in Week 12 against Seattle, a 40-year-old quarterback with a bad leg? Why was he able to do it? Because the team functions better with a quarterback who will run the coach's offense, which Carson Wentz obviously refuses to do. He's being protected, I think, by the owner. I think coach is shook. I don't think Coach has autonomy. That's what it looks like to me. He's being protected in the press. Everyone's singing his praises last year when he was no good at the end of last year. He's ruined as a quarterback. I don't see... And if you do think he can get back, it was a three-year process to get to this low. It's going to take a long time to build back up. Of course you trade Carson Wentz if you could, but the fact is you won't be able to. No one wants that guy. Well, first of all, you are, well, first of all, you've already trained us not to take you seriously about anything you say because you'll sit up there and acknowledge emphatically <laughs> about how you feel, and then when you're proven wrong, you say oops or whoops, and then you want to move well, on. In this case, okay, so we right. ain't buying that because all of this, all of this <laughs> well, try, and this whoops. pomp and circumstance that say you're whoops. giving us, that you're giving us. Now, if so, hold on, if next year Wentz stays in Philadelphia, how much you want to make a bet? Max is gonna go like. Whoops. And then, oh, Max, Max, did I leave it out? Remember when you hit from the camera? Remember that with Kawhi, too? You said whoops, <laughs> and then you hit from the camera? Remember that, too? So let's not forget that. That's what you yeah, did. Yeah, but this is okay? time for so you now to we get hide that from out the, the camera. Way. Now let's Yo, also so say, haters, oh, we let you speak, <laughs> zip it. We heard you, zip it. We ain't interested. We had to stop it. Here's the deal, Max Kellerman. Shameless. When Carson Wentz, Carson Wentz turns 28, <laughs> December 30th. We know he's awful this year. Congratulations. You were right about that. But last year when he was awful, we still disagree about what we saw from the standpoint. You got third stringers off the practice squad that he got to throw to. Deshaun Jackson's out. Nelson Aguilar's out. Alshon Jeffrey's out. I mean, you just learned everywhere you turned, everybody was getting injured. And so they asked him to play hero ball. Now this year... That's different because this year there's no excuse for him to regress as bad as he has. But I can't look at him at age 27, who's a former top two candidate for league MVP. He ain't even turned 28 yet and say he's finished. <clears throat> he's finished when I just gave him in June of 2019, $107.9 million. And I'm going to say a year later, he's done. I can't do that, Max. I can't do it. I can't. Stephen A, you know what? Real quick, Ryan, I just got to say this. What Howie Roseman needs to say is what about that contract? There's one short word that'd do it. What did you say? No guesses? No, whoops. I got no guesses. He needs to say whoops. No, we ain't Stephen kidding. A, guess what you try have it. to say. Say, say it. Man. Fix your mouth to Man. say whoops. Stop. You'll like it. Whoops. <laughs> it's obvious. <laughs> whoops. Just say it. <laughs>
Hey, I got hey, it. You know I got it. I should have guessed that. I should have guessed it. that. I should have guessed that. My bad. That, that was a good one. I got it. So here's the that's so, a good so one. That's the, a good one. The, the problem. The problem here is this: we don't know enough about Jalen Hurts, right? Like when you when you see him play one game, I think Doug Peterson called it a fantastic game. If you're the New Orleans Saints, you didn't have any tape on it, you didn't know what, what it should look like. But if you're Sean Payton, you should watch it and do more of that with Taysom Hill. And so you watch the first game and you say, okay, let's see if it's sustainable. Let's see what happens if somebody has some film moment when they kind of understand what Jalen Hurts is going to do. So I can't unequivocally say Jalen Hurts by himself playing is the reason that the Philadelphia Eagles won that game. But you know what I can say? You know what I do believe? That Carson Wentz not playing is the reason the Philadelphia Eagles won that game. Because Carson Wentz mm. playing gives you interceptions. It gives you sacks. You don't see the team really rally around him in this way. It's not that spark plug from the quarterback position. But I know when Nick Foles did it, I saw all those things. When Jalen Hurts going against the New Orleans Saints, who are playing the best football in the league defensively, holding people to a per-play per average that would have every team they've played worse than the Jets since week five, they couldn't stop him. And when he needed to make a play, when the New Orleans Saints were coming back, when they were only down three, he leads a touchdown drive with his legs, with his mind making the right decision, with accurate throws in the intermediate and short areas. And so when I look at what Jalen Hurts has been to this offense, and it's only been six quarters, what I say is it's not what Jalen Hurts is, right? It's not what he is, but it's the things that he possesses, the things that he won't do that Carson Wentz does. And so Carson Wentz ain't the quarterback for this team. And it might not be Jalen Hurts. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.